my name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much for being present. Thank you so much for viewing in general. Thank you so much for, for taking those active steps needed in order to change your life for the better. I post daily content on my Instagram. My handle is the Aunt of Dragons. It's down somewhere below in the writing. Hopefully I remember to do it. No, I always do because I just copy paste. It's super fucking simple. But I post um, daily practical advice that you can use in your everyday life in order to change. I see a lot of fucking excuse of, excuses of, oh, I want to change, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But um, I, like I said, I post them, them daily. I, I post totally random things from like um, from how, how to kiss, on how to make a good first impression, on like it's, it's totally varied. Um, and, and, and I'm really proud of myself for it. So you can, you're more than willing to like to check it out. Or if you need something more specific for your life, I'd love to make a video for you. I fucking love doing those kinds of videos. So like, never be shy to ask me um, in the comments below, or you can DM me on my Instagram. Please do not be overly sexual and offensive because I will call you out. <laughs> you can also follow me on my Twitter. My handle is the Aunt of Dragon. I try to um, document my life a lot on Twitter. I have the most crazy fucking encounters. It sounds so completely unbelievable. So um, if you want to check up on that on my Twitter, you can follow me on the Aunt of Dragon. And then you can also add me on the Facebook. Um, I'm trying to get more active on Facebook. I have such such a like um, I hate relationship with Facebook, which is so stupid because it's like Facebook isn't a person. It's not an entity. It's the people that I follow. So I just need to I just need to filter that out. And yeah, cool, cool. So <laughs> as you can tell with the title of my series, The Breakup Diaries, I talk about a lot about um past relationships and I've, I've talked about some shit and I, I'm sure you're thinking like there's no way it can get worse Ashley but it can it can and it will <laughs> it's gotten so much worse so I want to share with you things that I've settled for in relationships things the, the stupid crazy things I've done in the name of love Ugh. okay <laughs> so let's take it back way way back to um to high school my high school sweetheart god he was a fucking dick i can oh my god we had the same initials too fuck we had the same fucking initials i got my name is ashley collins so it was ac so i had i got like the little dog tag when we like oh god it was so fucking stupid like you know the dog tags you get from walmart we got that with each other's names or like we just each other's birthdays like oh my god ugh. and um like, I was really convinced that he was the one because of, of our fucking initials. He was on the football team, but he didn't even fucking play football. He always, like, he never got to play because he sucked. He sucked. Like, he was shitty at it. So I'd, sh I'd show up to every one of his fucking football games that I would drag my best friend at the time. And I'd be like, ooh, that's my man. He's on the fucking football team, riding the fucking bench, giving people fucking water. Um, <laughs> Another crazy thing I've done in the name of love is... um. I visited, mm, oh, okay, I'm going to call myself out now. I'm going to call myself out now because I always say how I never left Florida, but I have. And I completely forgot about this because I blocked it from my memory. Um, I was dating this guy and um, he lived in Washington State. And I want to prove how invested I was in this relationship. You're gonna, it's coming. It gets worse. It's coming. I wanted to prove to him how invested I was in this relationship. So I bought a fucking one way plane fucking ticket to go see him in Washington state. And guess what he did to me? Um, he left me in his house for a whole day by myself because he was busy. He was actually busy having sex with another girl. What? That's my life. That's my love life. That's the end of the video. <laughs> it's not the end of the video. Um, okay. 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 We like we need to get to the point. But I want to tell you the craziest, craziest thing I did in the name of love. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm laughing about this now because like... You, like, then, oh my god, it was the end of the fucking world for me, like, oh my god, like, it was so fucking, like, every one of my relationships is a fucking soap opera, like, go through my fucking YouTube channel, you'd be like, wow, this girl, like, yeah, like, if someone has a right to be depressed, she is, <laughs> but okay, 
Okay, the craziest, craziest, craziest thing I've ever done in the name of love is um, I took out four credit cards in my name and I paid for this dude's everything. You name it, I paid for it. Um, we did, neither of us had a car at the time, so I, I paid for all of our taxi rides. This is way before Uber, way before Lyft. And um, if you've never ridden a taxi before, you complain about Uber. Taxis are expensive. Um, I paid for his apartment, um, and it's, it's not like a not like a four hundred dollar apartment, not like a five hundred dollar apartment. It was a fifteen thousand dollar apartment, fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred. Sorry, math. Um, so one thousand five hundred dollars a month. I paid for that shit. Um, um, I, I like would sometimes pay off his debt. Um, yeah, we we took a trip to Miami, and I paid for everything. So yeah, so I have. $10,000 in credit card debt because in the name of love. Yeah, so let's talk about settling in relationships so you don't fuck up the way that I did. <laughs> when should... Okay. Okay, no, no, no. Let's talk about first. When should you settle in a relationship? You should... Excuse me. Sorry. I'm not going to record this because like I feel like I'm on a fucking roll right now. You should settle in relationships when it comes to an issue, not the person. An issue is something that's, um, I, I see settling as, um, I see your standards as an, 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 an what's the word? Immovable object. It is an immovable object that cannot be moved. For me, I once dated a guy who dipped, like, um, like dip, like, you know, baseball. I've kissed guys who smoke weed. Not a huge deal. I've kissed guys who smoke cigarettes. Uh, but you know, uh, you know. But have you ever kissed someone who dipped? For me, that's an immovable object. I'm not going to move on that. I'm not going to be flexible with that. Okay, so you need to decide in your relationship what is completely immovable for you. What is, what's something that you're not going to be flexible on? Okay, so settle on an issue, not the person itself. There's a study that says... um. There's a 35 37% 37% rule. 37% rule. They say that if you date 100 people, right? The 38th person is a person that you're destined to be with, okay? So, so that's a lot of frogs that you have to kiss, you know? And I think that people don't want to have to put in that extra effort to kiss 37 frogs before they find the 38th one. They, they're they like, I, I just want to give in on the 22nd because, because why? Because they're afraid of being alone. Because they, they're, they're, they're upset that they have to go to bed every night by themselves, you know? But I'm very big on that, like, I'd rather go to bed by myself, happy, content with myself, rather than give someone the cold shoulder who's sleeping next to me, who, who, I'm, who I'm afraid of, who, who I'd rather, I'd rather be anywhere else in the world, but with them, you know, and sometimes you have those nights every now and then, like every one or two nights, but it shouldn't be every day, in my opinion, in my opinion, okay, 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 another way to show, see if, 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 whether you are, blah, I'm gonna start that sentence over again, another way to see whether you are settling or not in a relationship is asking yourself why, three times. I got this from a really good friend on Instagram. Um, I'm going to tag him in this on the Insta. Um, ask yourself why three times. Why do you want to be with this person? Why? Why? If you can't answer that three times, then that's, that's, that's a problem. That's, a, that's something that you need to sit with yourself, sit with each other and say that like, hey, something's not working here with us and we need to move away, step away from each other. Okay. Um, I see love as, I can do this myself. I can do this myself. I don't need you. I don't need you in my life, but I'd rather share it with you. I, 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 I wish that we would see, see relationships less, less of a need, less of a, I need to hurry up and get this out the way. I need to hurry up and repopulate the earth, which first of all, like, <laughs> we don't need any more help repopulating the fucking planet there's people with who have 19 fucking kids like don't worry about that you know there's plenty of time to have kids there's plenty of time to to build a family but you want to do it the right way the first time you know what was what was i i was thinking to myself the other day i'm because i'm turning 30 this year ah! <laughs> i can't believe it i can't believe it for multiple reasons um 
I, I definitely had a different timeline for my life, but like this is the route, the route that I needed to go on, you know? And, and like, I never imagined my, I'd rather be single in 30 than divorced in 30. I'm gonna say that again. I'd rather be single in 30 than divorced in 30, you know? Okay, okay, moving on. Moving, moving on up. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I took notes. I took notes. I'm trying to hide them, but I took notes. I'm trying to hide them. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. How's your day going? Is it cool? Okay. <laughs> How do you know when you're settling in a relationship? I'm gonna give you some some um some solid practical advice. Why am I, why am I continually saying practical? Because someone tried to call me out on Twitter earlier. They're like, oh, like you're saying like all these whimsical quotes, but you're not giving practical advice. And I'm like, look, bitch. That was a little angry, but I'm like, yo, look, I do give practical advice. Follow my fucking shit, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I'm done. I'm over it now. I'm over it now. I'm over it. I'm over it because I'm, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> How do you know when you're settling? So when you're talking about them, you say, they're great if only. If you're always constantly saying if only about them, that's a problem. That's a red flag. Okay. Um... You make excuses for their bad behavior. Yeah, you know, he was really upset, so he just punched the wall. That's not normal. No one just punches walls. Coming from someone who dated a person who was always constantly putting holes in the wall. We, we never got our deposit back in our apartment, actually. Because there was, he punched five holes in the wall. One of them was with his, with, was with his head. If you're constantly making excuses for their bad behavior, that's a huge red flag. And it's, it's also borderline dangerous. Um, you're comparing your partner to someone else. And I'm not talking about like, like, oh, like, yeah, like, oh, J-Lo comparing that to like J-Lo or Kim Kardashian. No, I'm talking about like people that you know in life, like, like, oh man, like, oh, I, w I wish I had a girl like, like the Susie, the girl that I work with. That's not good. You shouldn't be comparing your partner. You shouldn't be saying that, oh yeah, I, I, I love them, but I wish that they would lose 10 more pounds. Don't tell that to everyone else. Tell that to each other. Tell that, tell that to them, you know? And if they're not willing to change that about themselves, like I said, red flag. It's all about noticing the red flags yourself, okay? Um... I, I hear a lot the same three fucking sentences and it makes me want to fucking tear my hair out. <clears throat> but I love them. I've already been with them for so long and I can't imagine my life without them. You then, <laughs> that means that you don't have that much of imagination. I'm going to say that again. If you cannot imagine your life without this shitty person that you're in a relationship with right now, then you don't have that much of an imagination. At one point, at one point in our lives as a child or teenager, we sat with our friends or with our parents or with ourselves and we we imagined what our, our Barbie dream house would be. But then now as we get older and we feel this unnecessary pressure by society, like we're seeing, we're seeing all these beautiful weddings online and, and, and in real life and then we're like, man, I want that so fucking bad. I want that so bad that I'll settle for anything. I'll settle for the first person who tells me I'm pretty. I'll settle for the first person who... Who, 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 who will tolerate my, my bad behavior. And that's not good. That's not good. If we, we dream so big in our careers, we dream so big for our children, but we're not willing to dream big for our love life, the person who we're going to spend the rest of our lives with, that's, I, I'm, I'm not okay with settling for that. So yeah, this, whoo, this got a little fun for me um <laughs> you should want to be with the person for who let me say this again <laughs> you should want to be with a person who loves you for who you are not for who you could be because nine times out of ten your behavior, your your habits, your lifestyle, your choices, they're probably not going to change, you know? And if someone, if you're going into the relationship hoping to change them, hoping that they'll somehow magically change into a better person, 
It's very rare. It's very rare. Look for a relationship where they love you for who you are. Flaws and all. Fuck ups and all. And they don't expect you to change how you are. Cool? Cool, cool. I hope this was practical advice for you. Um, overall, I just don't... I don't believe in the word settling. I don't believe in that word. I think that... I do believe in standards. I do believe that sometimes we, we, we do get surprised in relationships. But I do believe that there are rules. There are things that for you as an individual, you should not budge on. You know? Because <laughs> later on down the road, you're, I bet you you're going to say, Oh, I didn't even like this about them. But I, I dealt with it. You know? That sentence always comes up during the breakup. So, so fast forward 20 years from now, can you imagine yourself saying that? Yeah. Cool, cool. I hope this was useful for you. I hope this was practical. Um, thank you so much for viewing. Like I said, oh, oh, I guess, I guess I should tell you, um, like, comment, and subscribe, question, question mark, if you want to. <laughs> You don't have to though. No, you should. No, you should. You should. You should. Why? Because I'm nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that you're nice to someone, but particularly be nice to yourself because at the end of the day, your happiness matters. Your happiness is yours, right? So you want someone else to complete that happiness. You don't want someone else to fill that emptiness inside of you. You're already full. You're already full of love. So what you should have want someone in your life that you could share that with. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. Too long of a video. Bye. Bye. Be nice to someone. Bye.